stop procrastinating. Go to your computer, open up Silhouette Studio V5, and head over to the pop-up card panel because you can create something adorable right now. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette. You found your way to Silhouette Success, and I do hope that you're going to join our little community. These are all of the pieces that we are going to be working with to build this card today. I have the standard card base. This is a 10 by 7 rectangle with the perforated line in the middle for the score line. I have created an additional layer here with the sentiment and I used a stencil font so I could cut out the letters and everything would stay attached like the center of the E and the A. This font is called Quilty. It is from Creative Fabrica and I will put a link in the description below for that. This adorable little bunny also came from Creative Fabrica. He was an added bonus in a pack of Easter gingham backgrounds and I will put that in the description as well. But you can use literally any shape you'd like to do this. We will be focusing on the card insert today. That's this rectangle here. So I'm going to copy our little bunny, open up a new design page and paste him in place and create the rectangle for my card insert. I like my inserts to be just a little bit smaller than my card base. I'm going to go with 6.5. I need to unlock my aspect ratio button and I'm going to set the height to 9.5. We will need to draw a line to indicate the center of our card, but this is not going to be cut. Let's select both of these and center. And I'm going to right click and group these together just so they don't move around on us for right now. The next step is to get just an outline of our image. If you use the actual image to try to create your pop-up cuts, it's going to bog your software down and it's just going to take a ridiculous amount of time. So make sure to duplicate your cutout and then fill with a solid color. That's going to make your life so much easier. Now you need to decide where you want your pop-up to be cut out of. You can place it right in the center. I chose to have mine off to the side a little bit. With your outline selected, you can open up the pop-up panel and click on On. And you can see right away the software has added quite a few different cuts and lines and perforations. There's a few adjustment nodes and it looks extremely complicated. But once we go through it, you're going to find that it is really super simple. The first thing we're going to pay attention to is this dotted line with the red dots at each side. We want to take and line that line up with our center fold line. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can get this exact. I'm just going to pull that right up on there. And it does not want to set exact, so I'm going to use the up arrow key on my keyboard to line them up. That looks good. Now we're going to grab each of these red circles and pull it out almost to the edge of the card. Now we can right click on our card base and ungroup and we can select this center line that we had created and delete that because now we have our bunny set in place. We don't need that line anymore. Now let's take a look at the different options we have. The first one is the base width. These little spots here are little cutouts that are going to attach the bunny to the bottom of the card. And you can see they're not very wide. That's not going to provide very much stability. Let's increase the base width. I have brought mine out so that the bottom of each foot is connected and there's a little connection for the tail as well. The next option is strut width. The struts are up at the top and that's all of these little cuts here. The struts have solid cuts on the sides and it has a perforated line in the middle here and a perforated line at the top edge. The more struts you have, the more it's going to follow the actual shape of your cutout. However, when you have struts that are this thin, they are going to be kind of flimsy. I prefer my struts to be a little bit thicker 
and I sacrifice some of the actual shape to make it sturdier. All of this is preference. You're going to have to play around with the settings a little bit to figure out what works best for you. The last option that we have to look at is the dash pitch and it's talking about all of these dashed lines. There are score lines. We can raise the pitch and those dashed lines become wider. We can lower the dashed pitch and they become skinnier and closer together. I like to have mine kind of thin. I went with 0.025 for mine. The last option you have to work with is controlled by this little slider here in the middle. You can pull this up or down and this increases or decreases the amount that your cutout sticks out away from the base of the card. The more you pull it down, the further it's going to stick out. If it's closer to the middle line, it's not going to stick out as much. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the send page. Everything is outlined in red. Everything is going to cut, but you'll notice the tips of the ears and the little feet, the tail, anywhere that it is connected to these struts is not going to cut in. That is absolutely perfect. That's just what we want to see here. If everything cut out, then this would just pop out completely and it would not be held together. So the software has made all of these different calculations and it has gotten everything ready for us to make our pop out card. And I think that's just amazing. Let's go back to the design tab. We can select these pieces, right click and group, and this is ready to cut out. Let's pull that off to the side though and take a look at our image for just a second. I switched over to letter size media for this, opened up my print and cut panel, turned on the registration marks, and then I just set my little bunny right up in there. I cut mine out of copy paper and glued him on, but looking back, I probably would have liked it better if I had just cut him out of sticker paper. I have done a video where you can do a print and cut for the pop-up insert, and if you want to see that, you're just going to click on the little box that pops up at the end of this video. We're almost there, but I wanted to show you the end results. You can see the struts that have the perforated line, you can see how the adjustments affect the distance between the pop-up and the card base. And you can see that this turned out really, really cute. And I absolutely love this. If you've given this project a try and you want to show off your work, you're going to head over to the Book of Faces. Join the group. We'd love to have you. Now go create something amazing and I will see you in the next video.